so yesterday i was actually creating i actually created this particular pattern hi 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 if you are joining me you're welcome you're welcome so yesterday i created this particular pattern and um, if you have not watched the video i'm going to suggest you go watch it yes go watch it right away okay of course you can watch after you can watch after you can watch after so i think i put the link right on the chat board now you can just go ahead and watch so all i did please do some catch up do some catch up i've already taught on how to create this on my youtube channel yesterday so please go and check it out and then um, watch it i already put um, i already put that on the I put it on the chat board so when we are through you can go ahead and then um, you know learn how to cut it so today i've already cut out the pattern as you can see i'm going to be going into how to create actually the insole of course i'm going to be using an insole template so it depends on whatever you want to work with i know so many people are wondering okay most times you mention insole templates actually I need you to know that you can get to the markets or probably buy online an already made sole. Buy what is your size. That's just the options that you have. Buy your size, then you can use it as a template. So I'm going to be showing us one of the one of the soles that I have. Let me get it for us to see. So if I want it to be something, you know, with this shape, I can definitely use this. Now, if I'm going to be using this as my template, it does not necessarily mean it has to be flat. What it does is, okay, I'm duplicating this shape on whatever I'm using as my insole. That is basically what it means. That's what it means. I'm just going to duplicate this. So... You can decide to, if you want a round shape, you can get um, soles. This is actually an already made sole. Probably you want a round shape. You can just go ahead and then um, get a round shape sole such as this. And even if you don't want to buy, if you don't want to buy, probably you're like, no, I'm not ready to buy all of the sizes. Go ahead and um, and um, go with some of your, you can go with your carton to the market. That's the amazing thing. When you get there, just try to place and draw some of the stores here in nigeria will not stop you from drawing those templates if you want to draw provided you have you have actually created a good relationship with them they won't stop you from drawing all those shapes and sizes they will be they will even be suggesting it to you so i'm going to suggest that you ensure that you actually make use of that idea for your template so let's go right into how do i want to create my i for me i think i actually like what this looks like but i think the shape will be perfect this style will be perfect for round shape of course i don't think anything will be bad in this so what do you suggest 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 to me do i use round do i use um, this square shape please give me suggestion i'm waiting for your suggestion so you are not suggesting to me oh so let me quickly show you one simple trick now if i'm going to be using this as my template i'm just going to go ahead So you can see what I have right here is actually a round shape. Now I need you to know that in case the 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 the, the sole you have probably an already made sole that you have is not actually the length of your foot. It's not the same size as your foot. Let me show you what you can actually do to it. Now let me check what this length is. For example, 
this length is exactly 25 why my own feet is actually 25.5 you understand if i draw my feet it's actually giving me 25.5 and then um, i just want to add like 0.5 to the length of course i know my my foot is not increasing in any way so i'm going to be adding um now this is 25 and i need 26 as the length so what am i going to do now i have already created this i'm just going to go ahead and use my my ruler to increase it by a 0 0.5 up here and i'll come down as well and also increase by a 0 0.5 centimeter with that i'm just going to pick up my template again my already made so i will extend it to where my 0 0.5 stops please follow me gently now if you look at this you find out that it has increased a bit i'm also going to do the same thing right here so i just want to show you how i'm going to be creating these templates so make sure that you align this properly first before you systematically push it up so now you can see the increments can you see the increments so what it means is that you can have a a longer footwear and you can reduce it or increase it that's just what it means so it does not matter the kind of template you have it does not matter the kind of sole you have you can actually reduce the length like i just did now i've increased the length now let me show you something now i don't intend to actually use a flat sole i'm not intending to use a flat sole i want it to be a little bit high probably as high as about um let's say two inch or one and a half inch i want it to be a bit as high as one and a half inch i mean the heel so i decided to buy this particular top heel now let me see what this is it's not even up to one inch you can see that it's not up to one inch but I would have actually loved it to be about um, one and a half inch. But that notwithstanding, now let's say I'm going to be using this. If I keep, if I place it on this, I just really want you to see this. Can you see that it's actually wider than it? It's absolutely wider. So if it's wider, it means I cannot use this particular top heel for this particular sole. That's what it means. Since it's wider, I cannot use it. That's what it means. But if you if you really want to use it so probably you you love the shape and you actually want to use this same sole for actually this purpose what are you going to do it means you have to actually adjust the shape to suit this particular width that is what it means now it's not expedient as far as i'm concerned for you to buy this kind of um, top heel i bought this like this just like this I, this is the way i bought it and this can actually be very durable i bought it at um about 1200 1200 i think that's about two dollars that's what that's how much i actually bought this so you can imagine if i bought this for one two 1200 naira which is about two dollars and somebody is expecting me to sell my footwear for one dollar i don't know how you want us to calculate that kind of a thing somebody is saying uh, uh let me just pay you 1500 now and you two you are imagining eh? like seriously you understand so so even somebody who wants a 1500 naira footwear cannot actually get this kind of soul where i am the reason is because this is already 600 naira which is actually about um, a dollar too. So how will I sell footwear for a dollar? And they will tell you that when you get to the market, you are, they are buying it for $2, they are buying it for $1, they are free. When you go and check all those all those shoes, all those um, shoes, you find out that so many of them, it could be the same, so I wouldn't know how. I want to believe they probably mass produce it. That's why they had that opportunity. But this is what I need you to know. Make sure that you don't sell below your cost of production never sell your footwear below your cost of production make sure that you create something that is okay that is good 
don't lower your standard because of what people are saying buying the wrong materials just creating food bed without is i have seen carton inside food bed. i mean carton just inside um inside soles like this and they will just wrap it with any like leather and just do no please if you want to actually create a brand that you want people to be able to vouch for i just want you to know that you have to do a better job at whole time so now that i have this here what do i do i can i'm going to be i can decide to actually adjust this and make it wider now it's not sizing it i can make it wider or i decide to create another sole that is actually smaller than this if i can't get exactly this kind of um this kind of top heel if i can't get exactly this kind of orange made top heel to fix it, if i can't get then it's better for me to just go ahead and increasing this side if you're going to be increasing it it means the person has a very wide feet that's another thing if the person is not having a wide feet this particular size is perfectly okay but if the person is having a wide feet you can decide to increase it so let me show you what do what are you supposed to do if you want to increase it before we do the increment i'm going to trace this out i'm going to cut trim this out first so that I can secure this shape that I have before I now go ahead and show you how to actually increase it to suit this particular top heel. Let's say the person is having a wide fit and you still want to actually create for them using the same top heel. Let's just quickly go into that. Let me trim it for us all to see. Please let me know, will you actually prefer that this tie should be on a square shape or on a round shape? Because in short, I'm just trying to think about what's the perfect... Um, the perfect... Let me open it over there. Sorry, my kids are back. I gotta open the door for them. So this is what I have. So this is what I have. So with this now, I can now, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to adjust to suit this because sometimes you might actually have a soul that is not enough as in probably you are now wondering how will i now get the template now i don't even know what to do so this is what you are going to do let me quickly do that here for us to see so since this is what we have let me first of all draw let me draw that shape right there for us to see first so you can see what i have this is what the shape looks like. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to try and position this this way. Don't forget, it's like this. This is what it looks like. This is the perfect shape. I'm just going to try to move it towards this one. Move it towards it just to align it. Ensuring that it still returns to where this top. Make sure that you do increase the length since if as long as the length is okay please just let the length be can you see what you're having already so come to this side as well and try to do a a balance work as well ensure you don't increase Now you can see that it has become wider. If I place on it, is it still perfectly sizing it? So it means I'm good to go. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to... The reason we are doing this is because we want to be able to place this at the back. I mean on our outer sole 
and it will perfectly be sizing it. So make sure you use your insole template to actually adjust this particular top heel to fit this particular shape. You understand? So you can see what I have right here. This is what it looks like. Now, I was actually asking us if I should use a square shape. And if I'm using a square shape, I can decide to actually adjust all of that as well. It's going to still be the same process. So with what I have here, as long as I prefer it to be a round shape, I'm just going to trim this out and then go ahead and use it. Where did I drop my scissors? So since we said the person has a wide feet, I might still have to do some adjustment, but let's continue first. So you see that I didn't trim this all through. I'm just going to try to check again and be sure I have a good shape here. So let me try to shape properly. So you can see me trying to adjust that. We are back with plenty noise. So Now you can see what it looks like. You can see what it looks like now. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So you can see what we have. So at the end of the day, I'm going to be having this right here. So as soon as I cut out my insole, I'm so sure that by the time I put my outer sole, it will perfectly be fitting it so this is basically how what i'm going to be using as my sole template and i can like i said i can decide to actually um change what we have here to a square shape so i believe with this you should be able to cut the insole for your own beautiful sander please if you have not watched go ahead and watch i just put it in the chat box you can go ahead and then um, watch go and watch how i created the pattern so with all of this just want to be sure that i've not totally altered the design so since we said it's going to be a wide fit although mine isn't a wide fit so i don't really have a wide fit You can see what we have here. So don't forget that we are just trying to make sure that our top heel perfectly fitted. I'm just trying to just adjust the width. Because at the end of the day, it's still going to stay perfectly right inside it. So this is what I'm having as my sole templates. But I'm not sure I want to really use this. Because for me... It looks quite um, big for this particular size. It's quite long because normally my length is supposed to be my ruler. Where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? My top heel is supposed to be about um, one third of my. Okay. This is even about 26.5 now. It means it's longer than what I even want. This is about 26.5. And with this 26.5 now, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, I'll just leave it like that. But if you consider the, the one third of 26.5, let's say it's 27, that's about 7 centimeter. Is this not longer than 7 centimeter? Yeah, it's longer. It's longer. So it means it's going to be too long for this particular sole 
yeah it's going to be too long if you are using it for men so then you can decide and say you want to use it like that for for women the temp the sole template should be longer than this if it's going to be a perfect one so this is not a perfect fit for this particular design for this particular size because you are supposed to use one third of whatever you have here as your top heel this is already longer than one third of my size of this particular size i hope you understand what i'm saying please somebody should respond and let me know do you understand what i'm trying to explain please let me know normally the the top heel you are going to be using is supposed to be one third of your full length one third minus same um, about one centimeter that's what i do for my own top heel yes i use um one third of, of my whole length as my top heel According to what I have here, this is about 26.5. Let me say approximately 27. One third of 27 is what? Um, 20, is that not 9? I think that's 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Come on now, let me check. Oh. It's 9, right? And this is 7 and half. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's like I'm not having mathematician in this my class. So... Oh, you are just leaving me to do all the calculation. The length, like I said, is 26.5. I approximate it to 27. If I need one third of 27, it means I need 9 centimeters. So, definitely, we have a good, um, for this. Hey, who, who, please let me know. Do you want me to continue or stop? Because it's like all of us are not, um, nobody is answering. If you are not answering, then I will be forced to stop. So with this now, definitely we need a shank. We need a shank. Please let me know if you are hearing me. Are you hearing me? Is somebody hearing me? Are you hearing me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you are going to be using this, it means you have to reinforce it with a shank that's obviously a necessity you are going to be using a shank right here since nobody is answering me well i believe this should have helped you with cutting your insole so we can call this a day today i think i've tried i've tried i've tried since nobody is responding it's better i just um keep this for my weekend class so in case you don't know i have a weekend class where i teach basically shoemaking and also how to market and how to sell your footwear if you have missed december you missed Ma january march april may please don't miss june make sure you don't miss june yeah don't miss june registration is on registration is on you can chat me up on my whatsapp business i'm going to be putting the number on the chat box please check it out you can trust me hope to join those who joined they already know what is happening there so see you tomorrow let's do it like that see you tomorrow provided you are letting me know you are enjoying this one see you tomorrow so i will show you how i'm going to be fixing the chat the shank actually provided i'm going to be using this thing because to me it's looking like it's too wide and I don't think my feet is this wide. I'm actually creating this for myself. So it's better for me to do something beautiful. And something that any other person will see. And also will love to actually create. Don't forget that I have already thought on how to create this pattern that I am actually using. I've thought this. Go to the chat box. Let me just put the link once again. I just put the link there. Go ahead and use it to actually create your own. It's very simple. It's very simple. Seriously. And now you know how to create your insole. So go and create your insole. Then tomorrow we are going to continue. I'm going to be putting the shank. And then I'm going to be creating the insole itself tomorrow. So join me tomorrow. Join me tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Is it going to be 12 or 1 or 2? What time? My baby, what time now? You don't want to talk. My baby doesn't want to answer. So thank you so much. And I still remain your shoe making made easy to talk. So tell me what you have learned from this video, please. I hope you have learned something new. So tell me what have you learned. For those of us who have been here, tell me what you have learned so far. Before I finally round this up. I think you should, I want you to go and work on this. Now you know how to increase. Now you know how to um reduce if you want to reduce it's still the same process let's say you like you have that 25 and you want to reduce it to 24 just reduce inward 0.5 up and 0.5 down 
then you place your template just to make it to to balance it with the other part and do the same thing for this particular side and you are good to go so you will have reduced it to 24 that way so but ensure that when you are doing your reduction and then um, your uh, increment make sure that it's not more than um, one 0.5 centimeter increment i mean is 0.5 up is 0.75 up is 0.75 down when it's extending to two trust me the shape will be deformed so when you are increasing let's say you want to increase from 25 to 27 for example i'm going to suggest that you first of all increase from 25 to 26 then from 26 go to 27 don't go just like that i mean don't do the increment straight away like that most times i find out that it deforms the, the beautiful shape that your soul your 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 soul template has so i hope you understand that i hope you understand i hope i hope i hope i don't know why i'm not seeing our chat is it i am not typing or i'm not seeing your chat i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so i just hope this video will not be deleted after now so please if you have not if you have not um, been following me please quickly go and follow before you find out that the video is no more available eh so Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who joined me today. So tomorrow we'll learn how to actually fix the insole, like I said. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Hey, Let's do it much more like this, 20 to 25 minutes. It is too long.